Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the construction of rotor in alternator. The construction of rotor in alternator is of two types. Salient pone rotor, non-salient or cylindrical pone rotor. In this video, we will discuss the main difference between salient pone rotor and non-salient pone rotor in detail. These are the two types of rotor. First of all, we will discuss the salient pone rotor. Salient pone type rotor consists of a large number of projecting pones mounted on a large circular magnetic wheel which is fixed to the shaft of alternator. Here you can see these are the projected pones. This is the circular magnetic wheel and here this is the cross sectional view of salient pone rotor and you can see that the circular magnetic wheel is fixed to the shaft of alternator. These type of rotors are also known as projected type pone rotor because the pones are projected out from the surface of rotor core and houses the rotor field binding. Here you can see the pones of the salient rotor are projected out and this is the field binding which is housed by the outer pones. Construction of salient pone type rotor is not strong enough to withstand mechanical stresses. Actually, if a salient type rotor runs at a higher speed, the outer pones, which are also known as projected type pones, experiences a high centripetal force, due to which the pones of the rotor tend to fly apart and this would result in an excessive bandage losses. So due to that reason, this type of rotor is only used in medium and no speed alternators having a speed 100 to 1500 rpm. So the salient pole type rotor cannot be run at a higher speed since it will result in excessive bandage losses. Moving forward, it is to be noted that alternators are on wave driven at a synchronous speed in order to produce AC power of the desired frequency. So the alternators always run at a synchronous speed and have a fixed frequency. Now, since salient rotor speed is slower, hence we have to require large number of pones in order to get the desired frequency according to the formula F is equal to NP by 120. Let's understand this point by the following example. Assuming that the desired fixed frequency is 50 Hz at a synchronous speed of 100 rpm and we have to calculate the required number of pones in order to fulfill that condition. So using this formula F is equal to NP by 120 since we have to calculate the number of pones so P is equal to 120 F by N simply putting the values and we get 60 pones. So if the alternator runs at a synchronous speed of 100 rpm and at a fixed frequency of 50 hertz then at that scenario the number of pones we required is 60. So we have to require a large number of pones in the case of salient type rotor since they cannot be run at a higher speed. Salient pone type rotor has normally 4 to 60 number of pones. So they have a large number of pones. Salient rotor has a large diameter in order to have a space for the large number of pones and short axial length. Here you can see in the cross sectional view of salient type rotor, they have a large diameter and short axial length. 
Due to the projected poles, the air gap between the stator and rotor is non-uniform. So the air gap in the case of salient type rotor is non-uniform. And due to the non-uniform air gap, flux distribution is also poor. The next point is the same. Due to the non-uniform air gap, flux distribution in the salient type rotor is also poor. For that reason, pawn faces of the rotor are shaped in radian manner so that the generated EMF is of a sinusoidal shape. So due to the poor flux distribution, the pawn faces of the rotor are shaped in radian manner in order to achieve a sinusoidal EMF at the output in the case of salient type rotor. Moving forward, Due to the non-uniform air gap, this type of rotor produces oscillations during the operations. In order to prevent the rotor oscillations, damper windings are used in this type of rotor. Here you can see in the outer pawns, damper bars has been provided in salient type rotor in order to prevent rotor oscillations. Salient type rotor is generally used in hydro power plants since hydro turbine has a no speed of operations. So as we know that salient type rotors are only used in medium and no speed machines. So they are generally found in hydro turbines. Now moving on to the next part which is the cylindrical pawn rotor. Known salient pawn rotor is also known as cylindrical pawn rotor or drum rotor. Known salient pawn type rotors are smooth, cylindrical in shape and have a number of parallel slots on its outer periphery to place the rotor bindings. Here you can see in the cross-sectional view of cylindrical pawn rotor, it is cylindrical in shape and these are the parallel slots on the outer periphery in which the rotor bindings are placed. The air gap between the stator and rotor is uniform in a case of cylindrical rotor due to which op its operation is smooth and less noisy. So you can see also the air gap between the stator and rotor is uniform. However, in the case of a salient type rotor, the air gap between the stator and rotor is non-uniform due to the projected pawns. So due to the uniform air gap in the cylindrical pawn rotor, the flux distribution is also uniform and due to which obtained sinusoidal EMF is better in the case of cylindrical pawn rotor. This type of rotors are used in high speed alternators having a speed 1500 to 3000 rpm. So the non salient type rotors are used in high speed machines. Since non salient pawn rotors are used in high speed alternators, hence small number of pawns are required to get the fixed frequency as f is equal to np by 120. So if the speed n is higher, we have require a small number of pawns P in order to get the desired frequency. Known salient pawn rotor has normally 2 to 4 number of pawns. So they have require a only 2 to 4 number of pawns. Since small number of pawns are required in a known salient rotor, hence the rotor has a small diameter and very long axial length. Moving forward, windage noses are also nest in a case of cylindrical pawn rotor due to their smooth way of operation. As we study earlier, due to the uniform air gap between the stator and rotor, they have a smooth and less noisy operation. So windage noses are also nest in that scenario. Damper windings are also not required in a non-salient pawn type rotor as 
these type of rotors do not produce oscillations during the operation these type of rotors are generally found in high speed operation such as nuclear gas and thermal power plants they are used in a machines having a ratings of 10 kva to 1500 kva so the cylindrical pore rotors are used in high speed machines and they have a ratings of approximately 10 kva to 1500 kva this is the comparison of salient pore rotor and cylindrical pore rotor in the tabular form these are all the points which we have discussed earlier so you can easily understand that <coughs> Moreover if you want to read this article in detail i will provide you the link in the description that's all hope this video will helps you thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you like this video thanks